I am home and I have made a really silly mistake which I realised on my drive home is I had a plan for today's vlog because yesterday Dan and I sat down and recorded a whole 14 minute bit answering questions because where I've been going through all the comments over Vlogmas I picked out any questions and I typed them all out into a sheet, printed it off and we sat down and answered not all but some of those questions together and I edited it all together into a video and my plan was because today was Friday and I'm not working uh, and I am working so there's not much content I was going to insert that but every day when I have finished my vlog I then transfer that finished vlog to my external drive where I keep all of my finished vlogs just in case and then I delete all of the um, raw files because they exist on my, um, this is very boring, my SD card. And then when that gets a bit full up, I then transfer any raw files I want to keep onto my external drive. It's a well-honed system. Uh, the only problem is that I just automatically deleted all of the raw files, forgetting that I had an edited section of vlog for today. And it's gone because I also had run out of space on my SD card and I deleted the original footage. <laughs> very poor file management, but we are sort of very late into Vlogmas at this point. So I'm surprised I haven't made any silly mistakes like that before now. So we'll have to sit down and do that again. Maybe in January we'll do a bit of a Q&A. So I guess that gives me the chance to say, if you do have any questions that you would particularly like Dan or I to answer, drop them into the comments. I will go through them over the Christmas week and into January and maybe we'll do a little Q&A vlog in January. Maybe. So yeah, if you're interested, do. You will also have seen that I took the wrong blinking um, parcel to work with me for the Merry Music Advent. I took tomorrow's one and I wasn't gonna break the rules. So I took it home and I've now got number 23 to open. So let's open it. Quite nice to come home and do that. Must, don't let me forget, I've got my bath running upstairs. I don't want it to overflow. Oh, it's a lovely purple one. Now, this has gone in kind of a tonal rainbow order, and I've just realised that normally when I open them, I would scribble the number on, but I haven't done that. So what I'm going to have to do is go through and watch my vlogs and work out which order they go in, because I'd like to use them in the order that Suzanne has put them, because they're such a lovely tonal kind of rainbow effect. Anyway, this is a beautiful one. So we'll be into the indigo and violet section. And it's going through the hills on a night all starry. Name the song. If you can hear a funny noise in the background, Phoebe has just got back from her friend's house where she's had a lovely day, all day, and she's now playing something on the Xbox, which she doesn't often do. So it's really good because they got it last year for Christmas. They barely looked at it, so it's nice that she's enjoying a game on there. And there's also a lovely stitch marker. Now, I must, I'm going to show you something else from Suzanne at Green Lumpkin Yarns. Uh, but I must also just say, Suzanne, I'm, I'm sending lots of kisses and hugs and cakes and yummy tea and relaxation to you because you might have seen on Instagram that she had a horrible accident and she's had to stop Vlogma. She's, she's okay. Uh, but um, yeah, she's had a bit of a nightmare. So I hope you feel better soon, Suzanne. And um, I'm about to show something that she sent me before I, I was talking about it yesterday, before I even knew anything had happened. Because I haven't really been very active on Instagram um, in the past couple of weeks. 
So she sent me a little parcel and I messaged her and said, can I open it? And she said, well, it is kind of, some of it's kind of festive, so you might want to if you want to enjoy it. So I did. And uh, Phoebe helped me and we had a lovely time. So she sent me the most gorgeous little, well, stitch markers, but I suppose they could be charms as well. Aren't they just lovely? And she sent me a little bag charm. And a little handmade crochet star decoration, which is so precious. To receive something handmade is always an absolute joy. And a little Bob Robin. Suzanne loves Robins. Isn't that adorable? Actually, look, I've got a little space here. I've got a little Robin here, a little glass one. I bought from um, a local craft fair. She, the lady that sells these, I see her at all the local fairs. She does the village fair as well. I think this was something like £2.50 or £3. Every time I see her, I'm like, you need to be charging like twice or three times what you're charging for these. Because she makes them. She does the glass fusion herself. Anyway, this little robin's going to go next to that little robin there. So I have my two robins. Oh, I might have to tie that so he sits facing forward. I'll do that in a minute. I'll just play about with it so he sits facing forward. But she also sent me this amazing yarn. And when I laid all of these bits out on the table last night and looked, and there was something about the colours that made me think next year, next Christmas, this is my theme for Christmas on the table. It's Mrs. Santa Claus. I only wish I showed this in the daylight. So what I might do tomorrow is overlay this with some um, footage of it in the daylight because it's such a gorgeous pink. I think it's going to be let down by the overhead lighting. Hang on, I'm just going to go and check my bath. Oh, good job I did. It was near to the top. That's all ready for me to go and get into after I finish talking to you. So yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it all out and do a little um, overlay to show you just how gorgeous the colours are. So thank you, Suzanne. Your yarn, as ever, is utterly gorgeous. And you've inspired me for next Christmas. You really have. And speaking of inspiration and baths, this arrived. This was waiting for me when I got home from work. It is the latest issue of Simply Crochet magazine and I am in love with this pattern on the front. Isn't that so cool? And I can think of so many different ways you could change that art, but I like the colours here. I also really like her hair. <laughs> I wear mine longer these days, but I like, I like the colour of it. My dad's hair was that colour naturally before it all fell out <laughs> and then went grey the bits that were remaining so yeah I'm going to take this with me and I'm going to read it in the bath and it also came with a little extra bird of crochet thing that's um, always fun to look through so I cannot wait to go and look through that so that's what I'm going to do now and then Friday night as you know is pizza night so Next time you see me, I'll probably be slightly pink in the face with wet hair making pizza. I lied about the time elapsed. There's no time at all that has elapsed yet. And I'm not, I haven't even been in the bath yet. I forgot to show you something. You would have seen it very briefly from earlier, but my boss came in early and he said, uh, I just been to the door and there was a parcel left on the doorstep and it's all wrapped up and it's for you and he was really puzzled and I said I said oh that's that's strange and then I read the card and it all made sense so back in vlogtober when I was on one of my woodland walks around the grounds at work I bumped into a dog walker uh, called Sandy and um it's a very popular place for walking dogs and uh, she recognised me because she watched my vlogs. I mean, what are the chances? What is such a small world? So we ended up having a little chat and it was her and her beautiful dog, Bella. And we had a little chat and then we went off. And she did let me know because I was on the hunt for fly agaric mushrooms and she did later find one in the grounds. And she did let me know where she'd seen it and I did go and have a little look. 
but I couldn't find it. So she dropped me a little present and said, I'm sorry you didn't find them, so I've given you some pretend ones instead. And it's from Sandy and Bella. So she sent, she gave me this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous card, which is gonna go up here. And this is so kind of you. What a lovely surprise, Sandy. Thank you so much. She sent, she gave me this beautiful, uh, don't drop it, don't drop it. Fly agaric. Do you know what? Let's not risk dropping it. I'll do a little close up of it at the end. We can go out today with some nice Christmassy music and my little mushroom. Let's do that. And she also gave me some gorgeous smelling little soap. And it's in a really Christmassy cute little box. It was all in a cute little bag. Oh, it's just such a treat. And two little chalky things, which I think are probably meant for Lilia and Phoebe. So I will put those there for them. And because she knows watching the vlogs that I've recently got into cross stitch, a little mini festive toadstool cross stitch. I'm so excited about this. My sister, who's the expert cro uh, cross stitcher, is coming tomorrow for Christmas, so she'll be giving me some tips and tricks, I'm sure. So thank you, Sandy and Bella. Now I really am gonna go and get in the bowl. I promised you pink face and fluffy hair and here it is. We are just in the middle of making our Friday night pizza. Dan does all the dough on a Friday night because I um, am at work on Friday. So. And I'm awesome. And, <laughs> and you're awesome. So I normally just do like a little shot of me chopping stuff. But I'm going to show you and explain what I have on my pizza. Also, we always get questions about the recipes we use. So Dan and I, and I'll link this underneath. Don't let me forget tomorrow. Don't let me forget. Um, we use the uh, Emma's Goodies recipe for an under 500 calorie pizza. And it's not, not to do with it being under 500 calories, although that is very useful, but um, it's just really nice. It's nice a thin and, thin and, and crispy. Thin and, yeah. Crispy base, yeah. and then the girls, what do we do for the girls? It's an it? adaptation of a Jamie Oliver recipe. Yeah, so it's a thicker one. They prefer this. Yeah, they like this. It's a bit of like a sort of deep pan pizza, as we call it, you know, the, the doughy one. Doughy one. Right, I'm going to show you what I've got on my pizza. <laughs> so, Dan is having tuna and sweet corn. I don't believe in tuna on pizza. And by that, I mean, I just don't like it. <laughs> And my pizza is uh, pretty much what I have every week, except I don't have courgette. So I've got a little bit of grated mozzarella. I've got a load of yellow and red peppers, uh, bell peppers. I've got some feta, I love feta on pizza. And I have got some dollops of caramelized red onion chutney. And I'm about to put on some kale as well. And that'll be my pizza ready. I've also got, Dan's just poured me a lovely freezing cold glass of Fizzanti because it is officially Christmas. So on that note, we're gonna cook our pizzas. Well, Dan's gonna cook our pizzas. We're gonna find a Christmas film. Elf. And we will see you tomorrow for Christmas Eve.